Hello, my name is Marion. I'm a blogger at Miss Mustard Seed. And I'm Christy, and I blog at Rosemary in Time. And this is Design Ramblings, where we talk about all kinds of design goodness for your home. And uh, we're answering a question today, another one. Um, so Pam sends us a question. She says, uh, hi, Marion and Christy. I have a living room ceiling, which currently has a ceiling fan. We hear Sad. you. Uh, with four 60 watt bulbs, my husband really thinks we need a fan in that room, mm -hmm. especially for the summertime months when we live in, uh, since we live in Tennessee. Okay, so that's fair. Um, I would like to get a new fan with lights that looks nicer, more of a farmhouse feel. Mm -hmm. I need to get one with lights. Um, I have two side lamps, but they don't bring enough light to do, you know, to light up this room. Um, we have thought about putting recessed light lighting um, to the room. And basically, do you think that that would still work with a farmhouse feel? I think she has sort of a feeling that recessed lights tend to look kind of modern in a space. Yeah. So what? So what would you do with? Well, first with of this? all, I feel your pain. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think the ceiling fan battle is usually like a husband and wife thing, and yeah, everyone experiences it. But. Um, I would, yeah, I would say that sometimes they are necessary, especially if you're living in a warmer climate. Um, and there are definitely some pretty options that are out there. Mm -hmm. uh, I, yeah, I hate them, but. <laughs> so would you always yeah. replace a ceiling fan? If I had it my way, I would, yeah. Okay. I, would. I think I would too, if I had it my way. I Maybe like 9.9 .9 times out of 10. Right. There, there may be, like on a porch or. Right. You know, I don't know if there's a room that's just where it gets really hot. I, I don't know. I could say, yeah. I, I mean, I understand. I love ceiling fans when they're on and it like, right. gets warm in a room and you're sleeping right. and you get that breeze on you. Like that feels really nice. But yeah, the look of them, I just, I don't like just, the look. Yeah, not a fan. But um, I, I am a fan of recessed lighting. And actually when I was first yeah. reading this, I thought just have the fan mm -hmm. with no lights on it and put recessed lighting in. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think that that looks modern. I think I think recessed lighting is something that's sort of neutral. It just right. well, blends it's, in it's, with the yeah, ceiling. Yeah, it's not attention grabbing at all. It's not like, you know, your eyes aren't going to be drawn to it like it would a, a, you know, really unique light fixture or something like that. Right. It's or just, even like track lighting that hangs down right. and is, you know, you yeah. can see it. I think since the recessed lighting is recessed, it's right. up in the ceiling, you don't really notice it. So yeah. if that's an option for you, if you can install recessed lighting, I yeah. think that would be the best option because then there are a lot of fans. I think fans without lights tend to look better than fans with them. Yeah, they're not as obtuse in the room, I think. Right, like. <laughs> they're not like hanging down in your face as much. Um, and I think that you can get a look that looks more classic. You can get some really cool vintage looking ceiling yeah, fans, yeah. you know, with pulleys and all yeah, kinds of yeah, neat yeah. things. So you can turn it into this really great fixture that has a, you know, she's kind of going for that farmhouse feel, mm -hmm. so that has that feel and then with recessed lights. So I think that's probably what I would do. But I understand. I have um, the same thing in my family room. I have two, yeah. double the joy. <laughs> I have two ceiling fans with four lights each, and we need them for light. That's mm -hmm. the source of light in the room. Um, and I've talked to, you know, every once in a while, I'm like, Jeff, what about, can, we, can I please put chandeliers up there? No. It would just make me so happy. <laughs> And, you know, he just really wants the fan. And so um, it's the only room in the house that has them. And I have one in every room in my house. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, my husband and I rent, so we don't really have control over it. But, yeah, we went and looked at the house. And it's beautiful, I mean, for what it is and what we pay for it. We love it. But as I'm walking through, I'm like, yep, there's one, there's one, there's the Every room, except for the bathroom, has one. And, yeah. The bathroom... Does not have It a does fan. not. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> I was going to say, well, that would be. Right on. In the kitchen? Kitchen. Kitchen has a ceiling fan, yeah. Every single room. Yeah, yeah, my opa had a ceiling fan in his kitchen, and that was like a must-have when he built his home, like middle of the kitchen, because if he was one of those, I mean, very, very frugal, definitely, but he was one of those, like, it's two degrees, you know, warmer inside oh than goodness. outside, so open the windows and turn the fans on and all that stuff. So 
he was like all about ceiling fans. So, which I enjoyed them in his house because his house was always hot. So it was like. And I, th- I think too that if you have high ceilings and they're not as kind of noticeable in the room, I'm okay with that. Yeah, that's true. Like in my my um, family room, the ceiling is cathedral, right. so you you do have the ceiling fans are are up above the mm-hmm. eight foot ceiling level, yeah. so they're not they do. They can kind of disappear into the room. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's like my living room is also it has higher ceilings and you know like our bedroom it's like right <laughs> you're laying in bed like please fan. don't fall on me. <laughs> um, but our living room has higher ceilings and I don't notice it as much in there and, and it is nice to have in the summertime. Yeah, I think that's a good point. The ceiling height does make a difference as far as like is that is it as noticeable in the room? Um, Definitely. So. Uh, so yeah, I think I think ceiling fans are not necessarily a bad thing, yeah. but I think they can be distracting. We understand it when you don't like them because we're not huge fans as well. Mm-hmm. But um, I also understand if your husband wants it. But I I do think that recessed lighting and the ceiling fan would be a really great compromise. You mm-hmm. can get a great look with that combination. I would suggest though, make sure that the recessed lights are not hung over the ceiling fan. You want them to be well away from the ceiling fan. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to have, like, the strobe light right. effect, which you wouldn't think that. But we actually have lights that go up, that shine up, uh-huh. and with the ceiling fan. And so sometimes it's, like, at night, you just sort like of, there's a shoppy, like. <laughs> little pulse of light. It's just, like, turn the fan off, <laughs> going into a seizure or something. That's yeah, funny. it's really distracting. So just be careful about yeah. the light placement to make sure that that doesn't happen that's in that's your That's a really space. good point. I wouldn't have thought of that. Right. I only know that because of my experience with, with ceiling fans. So... Um, anyway, well, good luck to you, Pamela. I hope you let us know what you do and um, send us a picture. We'd love yeah, to see it. definitely. And um, if you have any questions for Christy and I to just ramble about, we'd love to answer them. And um, thanks for liking and commenting and subscribing, and uh, we'll see you next time.